Hello my darlings, the video you're about to watch, I'm so excited about, it is all about how a particular type of meditation has now been, which is an ancient, it's one of the most original OG types of meditation, has now been proven to have scientifically legit benefits on your brain. In fact, it can actually change the shape of your brain, which is bonkers for the better, in a good way, to help you to be able to better handle stress so that you feel more calm, more unbothered, more at peace, more grounded, and for the everyday, day-to-day -day things that might trigger you and cause anxiety or pain or upset or anger, for those to be easier for you to handle. So if you're interested in learning more and finding out about it, keep watching. To contextualize this video, what you're about to see is actually an excerpt from a 12 part video series that I've created called the 12 Universal Laws of Success. So I'm sure you've heard of the law of attraction, the law of assumption, and they grouped together are really just one of 12 universal laws. So if you're familiar with that so far, the law of attraction, great. But maybe if there's some areas in your life where you still don't really understand why the same patterns keep happening or how to handle it when things don't go to your plan, then for those of you who want a deeper understanding on your spiritual journey, I'd highly recommend checking out this 12 part series that I've created. So how to access it? At the moment, it is available in my YouTube members only area. So that's an area of my YouTube channel that I've created where I put my online courses, where I put videos that go into even more depth so that you can pay a monthly subscription. I would recommend subscribing to the Transformation Tribe level because at that level, you basically get access to every online course that I've ever created all there and every online course that I'm going to create you will also have immediate access to once it's created so if you're interested I'll put the link in the description of this video on how to do that I also have another update a website is going to be coming soon for people who just want to buy if you just want to buy one of my online courses when the website is live you'll be able to do that too so that's the preamble of this video without further ado I'm going to dive straight into how this particular type of meditation can be so beneficial. I hope you enjoy it. When I went to India and spent a month with Grandmaster Akshar, I noticed how unfazed he was by stressful situations or by, um, you know, people who came up to us and were really quite unpleasant, like in the street sometimes, or, you know, when something didn't go to plan or when I fell very sick, like none of those times did he get triggered by them? He may have felt his emotions change, but then he was able to call upon his spiritual strength to maintain a vibration of good energy, of peace, of enlightenment. Sometimes I would even see him do it. He would go and take a big sort of like cleansing breath just to ground himself again if something chaotic was going on. He would often just, you could tell he was clearing his mind, connecting to who knows what, because you know, I don't know exactly what he's going through and what it feels like to be him, but it appeared to me from the outside like he had a strong emotional regulation system paired with a lot of practice grounding himself in all situations. So to touch upon emotional regulation system, there's a part of your brain which handles emotion, it regulates emotion. And there was actually a study done, which I read about in a book called Mind to Matter, where they did an experiment and they um, took someone who was very skeptical about meditation. He didn't believe that it would have any kind of actual tangible physical benefits in the body and he he got that person to meditate in a mindfulness way every single day for eight weeks mindfulness being that you still your mind you listen to the silence to the sounds around you so it's a meditation where you're practicing on being extremely present in the present moment 
It's not the kind of meditation where you go off in a visualization. It's actually about being right here, right now and stilling the mind as much as possible. So this man who didn't have any particular faith or belief in meditation, so there was no chance of a placebo effect going on, they did a brain scan before the eight weeks of meditation, of daily meditation, and they did a brain scan after the eight weeks of meditation. And what they found was that the part of the brain, the part of his brain that handles emotional regulation had grown by 22%. So more cells, more stuff was going on in that part of the brain. Now, what does that mean to you and me on a day-to-day -day basis? Why would we want a strong and healthy emotional regulation system in our brain? It helps with an uncountable number of stresses that might come up in your life. Let's say if you're driving in your car and somebody drives all against the rules, all against the highway code, and they cut you off and they're not doing what they're meant to be doing. On a scale of one to 10, how far does it tip you over the edge? How hot do you get? How stressed out do you get when your child is throwing a tantrum, when somebody disrespects you, when somebody trolls you on the internet, when you burn your dinner, when you miss your bus, how, on a scale of one to 10, how much does it send you off on one, basically? And the stronger the emotional regulation part of our mind is, of our brain, I should say, is, the less we will fly up that scale and the more we will be able to regulate those emotions with more ease. Apparently, also, the emotional regulation part of the brain can respond faster in situations of need, of emergency, of, you know, when you're driving, like your reaction time also improves. And that all comes from mindfulness meditation. How wild is that? So if you're looking to improve, going back to the law of perpetual transmutation, which is about the practice of being able to transmute all scenarios and maintain a strong high frequency, then I actually would suggest that a mindfulness meditation practice would be useful because it can help build that emotional regulation system, which can help you to not be as triggered, not have as many high and low fluctuations, and to be able to steady your vibration at all times. So that is potentially a lifelong practice. It's not something where, you know, you do it for 21 days and then all of a sudden you're a yogi, a, you know, a Himalayan yogi or something. But all of these are great practices to be aware of when you understand the universal laws.